Hey everybody, it's Josh Rogers with Keller Williams Realty and today's question is, should I become a residential real estate agent or should I work for a builder slash developer? So as we all know that you probably learned through your, your classes, you can hang your license either with a broker or a builder developer. And so that um, provides two great options for people in this industry. And there's pros and cons to both. And the best part is, is it really uh, will mesh with your different personality profiles. So different strokes for different folks. So let's talk about builders first. This is how I got started in real estate right out of college. I worked for two of the largest national builders for seven years. And um, it's more of a job that you have to clock in and out of office hours. A lot of the times, the biggest sacrifice with working for builders is that you have to work every weekend. And that can get old, um, making those sacrifices. Um, you do have a multiple bosses and sales managers, so there is that pressure to perform. Um, if you're not getting enough pressure from yourself, right, of trying to make a paycheck. And let's see. Oh, you uh, another say drawback from working for a builder is a lot of times you can only sell the actual community that you work in. So there's a model home that you'll sit in. That's your office. You work five to six days a week. Most weekends, you have a boss calling you pressure to perform and you can only sell those homes in that neighborhood. OK, the benefits and the positives of working for a builder is there's a lot of security and stability. So just like a job, a lot of times um, these builders will pay you some type of base salary, um, maybe $1,500 for every two weeks. So that's about $3,000 a month of, as a base salary. If it's not a base salary, they may offer a draw. And so essentially it's a loan. They, they front you the cash every two weeks just so you can buy groceries and not be stressed out about money but it's a loan against your future commission. So when you do close a couple properties and you make a $20,000 paycheck from your closings, then you would pay back that draw that the builder has been giving you over those, those months that you haven't been making commissions. So for instance, if you have not had any closings for two months and you have a $6,000 draw, and then you close multiple homes and you make a $20,000 paycheck, you'll pay back that $6,000 and then you'll actually get a commission check for $14,000. So that's a great benefit, you know, uh, because that way you always have that steady paycheck and you can create a budget from that. Um, the other benefit of working for a builder is they do all the marketing and advertising for you. Essentially, you're in the model home and all the leads walk through your doors. So that idea of lead generation really becomes very low on the totem pole. All you have to focus on is just really perfecting and, and sharpening your sales skills because whenever somebody walks through the doors, it's your job to create trust immediately, find out their needs analysis, uh, give the presentation, and then close them and get them to sign all those papers. Um, and then also do a great job with follow-up. So if you like structure, if you like a little bit more sense of security, um, and you don't mind working on the weekends and don't mind office hours and don't mind a boss, a builder is a great option for you. And make no mistake, a lot of these on-site agents are absolutely crushing it with builders. I know plenty of people uh, on-site communities that are making 150000 to $250,000 a year right now in this market. And right now it's, it's February 2016, so they're slaughtering it. So much, however, depends on the community that you're working in. You can be with the worst builder, let's just say reputation wise, but if you're in the best location in the best community, people are going to buy homes and you're going to crush it. Uh, conversely, you could be with the best builder in town with a great reputation, but if you're in a crummy location in a crummy community, most likely you're not going to be selling very many homes. So you can go broke that way as well. Now on the flip side, actually, uh, let's stop this video. That's enough for this one. So those are the pros and cons of working for a builder. Check out my next video I'm going to record right after this, just so these videos don't get too long, about the pros and cons of being a real estate agent and how you can differentiate from the two. So I've done both, so I hope this perspective is helpful to you. Certainly always reach out, send me any messages, comments, leave some feedback, give me a thumbs up, show me some love that uh, I'm not wasting my time and you guys are actually valuing these videos. Okay, we'll talk to you soon.